What up everyone, Xpart1000 here and we are back with some more Star Ocean The Divine Force content and this time we're looking at a build video for Marielle El Kenny. I've been really looking forward to this one since she got released for like the cover art on the game and looking over the game trailers. She's reminiscent of Maria from Star Ocean 3. You got that pistol combat with a little bit of like martial art kicks in there and then like some gadgets that go along with it. Marielle is very good. Definitely, um, her forte is definitely long range fighting, but she can get up close for like a few hits, but it's better to kind of like hit and run constantly. So if you are going to be controlling Mario, you want to have a team that's going to engage a lot so you can kind of chill in the background and uh, pop shots off. So maybe only have one other person with you that is arranging while you have two all in people that can distract the enemy. Or if you run a party where you don't, uh need that have three people going in so then you can definitely just chill in the background and pop shots off um getting into our stat breakdown marielle is a dps so she should have uh low hp and low uh defense um physical defense and of course magic resistance the guts uh you should be looking to increase your attacking your attack primarily, because most of her abilities come out in the form of physical damage other than magic damage. She has one move that comes out as magic damage, and it is a, a decently heavy hitting move, especially when enemies are blindsided. Um, we'll get into that as well. You don't have to worry too much about specking into resistance unless you want a more survivable build, because that, that can be viable. But for honestly, I think when you first get her, you should be rushing as much damage as possible, because she has a lot of potential for it. A very fun character to play as. So, looking into, we'll jump straight into her tree. So, when you're passing for her tree, I was covering this a bit in the broadcast that I just did. Um, you're going to pick up all the ATK swords from the top left and keep passing and pick up dead angle shooting. You'll increase the damage by shooting from behind, and it can be used with point-blank range. That is the other passive skill we are going to get. So, basically, your back attacks are going to do more damage. And you definitely want to, like I said, that hit-and-run sort of play style. You're going to kind of uh, sit in the background and pop shots off while your teammates are up close fighting. So, uh, if you can get behind the enemy and shoot them in the back, more power to you, and you're going to get some extra damage out of it. This is a passive skill we're definitely going to want to actually level up. Um, after we figure out the moves and stuff that we want to level up and um, unlock all our stuff on our paradigm that we're going to be using. So after that, we'll pick up some more ATK, start passing our way up here, and we'll pick up Bullet Stream. Bullet Stream is a nice, um, it's, a, it's lighter damage, but it allows you to hit and move. If there's enemies with lower HP and it's not worth winding up a super big attack, you can just pop a few shots at ease. And this one doesn't sacrifice any sort of movement, which is a big deal for Mario, because you kind of have to have some moves where you can hit and run. Um, and it's nice to have some where you're able to pop shots off at people out of far instead of just going into a close range move. It makes you more versatile. So you can pick up some more ATK again. Go down here and pick up some more ATK. We're going to have to grab these fire resistances to get these. Concentration is your first very big active skill that you want to grab. It's going to uh, bestow 30% attack, 30% magic damage. Um, you're going to get physical defense and you're also going to get magic resistance as well. Um, we're not really grabbing this for the defensive aspects, but we are grabbing this for the sheer damage output we're getting. Because 10 seconds is a long time, especially when you think about uh, Duma's ability where you go into the S3 cage and then it uh, extends the buffs. Uh, it, it extends your buff for a longer time period. It makes them decay a lot slower. And then on top of that, this effect can stack with Nina, increasing your attack damage um, with sheer bravery. So you want to get concentration as an absolute must, especially for boss burning. Um, then we'll grab energy burst. Energy burst is going to be your, this is your single target, uh, thing that you're going to be using for boss you absolutely for bosses you absolutely want this move and i mean it can clear ads as well but it is in a, a laser in front the hitbox is a little bigger than it appears in the picture i kind of wish they would have put like two or three more character models to the left of the guy she's shooting because it is able to hit 
you know, like two or three character models wide. Sometimes I don't know if it's a, if it's a bug, but it definitely is bigger than it seems. It'll catch people in it, so that's pretty good. It's meant to be an AOE, but at the same time, it, think of it: it's a straight line cone. So if you got people coming at you um, from multiple sides, it's probably not the move to use because you you can be interrupted and it can flank you. But if you got the room to work, this move is going to melt a lot of people, and it's going to be the first move that you're going to max on her. After that, we're done with the top half after grabbing this ATK sword, and then we will start to path down through the magic resistance portion. And the move where she's actually doing magic damage, I'll show you when we're going through the chain combos, because it's not something that you access through the paradigm, you already have it whenever you get the character. So we'll grab the ints, grab it over here, then go all the way down, and we're going to get Clever Fighter. This is going to be another passive skill that we're going to be using because of the magic move that we have um, and that we'll be running. Grab the other int. Uh, come over here, grab this int. Grab the other ATK. We're going to grab Shadow Bind. Now, Shadow Bind is an active skill that you... I would say it's more of a playstyle preference. If you feel like you're having a tough time escaping enemies um, or perhaps you're fighting a boss and there's a whole bunch of ads that are having a lot of uh, freedom to, uh, to move around and stuff, you can decrease their movement speed, making it easier for you to kite around them, which is basically you um, constantly attacking them while strafing around them, if you're not familiar with that term. Um, then you can go ahead and pick up this ATK. We'll grab this guts just so we can get these two ints right here. And then um, grab this weakness, and then grab these uh, the weakness resistance, and then grab these two ints as well, because that'll get the, the maximum amount of all your magic damage uh, for the tree. Next over here is where point blank range is, so you're going to have to start from this defense shield and make your way over to get it very quickly. Uh, grab point blank range, so that'll complete our three passive skills that we're looking for. Um, this is going to give us extra damage when enemies are up close, which is very good, because if you do happen to fire off, say for example, energy burst up close, and you're behind them, all that damage stacks, and this is our highest damage dealing attack. So, dead angle shooting, we're going to get extra damage from shooting them in the back. Point blank, we're getting extra damage from shooting them up close. And then Clever Fighter is going to uh, take a portion of our magic damage and add it to the uh, the damage stat, the physical damage stat. APK. Next, for some variety for shooting, because you're going to run into situations where you're going to have a bunch of people coming at you very quickly. You're going to need to be able to put out the damage quickly. You won't always have time for that big laser move. And sometimes that uh, the rapid shots that you do from bullet stream won't be enough to stop all the people coming after you. So we're going to grab these two HP hearts and then grab Crescent Lotus. Crescent Lotus is nice because it's a knockup and it can hit more than one person. It says single, but I knocked up two people in the air with it. Now granted, they have to be standing pretty close to each other. But at the same time, it can happen. You could also combo some moves with it while they're suspended in the air falling down. Um, grab these two freeze resistant ups just so we can get spray and pray. Spray and pray doesn't have a whole lot of damage, but what it does do is it's the, an the animation. The animation is instantaneous, and it's going to hit a lot of people that are coming at you. Um, this will allow you to clip into some easy close quarters combat combos. And then for that part, we're going to stop there because the rest of the things that are like flashing right now is mostly like resistances to stuff. And we're not interested in those right now. Um, going into we're quickly reviewing the passive skills. So we got point blank, dead angle shooting, and then clever fighting. We're going to go into chain combos. So I think I'll explain the computer side first for how they ought to do it. So if it's the computer controlling her, you probably want her to kind of just stick to spamming energy burst. Because she's a character that is um, not as straightforward for a computer to use. Because uh, she definitely is meant to use concentration to really buff up her damage and then spam energy burst for a very high damage dealing combo. The computer is not going to do this. I mean, what you could do is give her concentration on one combo and then just give her, like, energy burst for just about everything else and you will get solid uh, damage output from her. Um, you don't want to give her too many 
combo heavy uh, animations because the computer just doesn't play that well to pull those off. Um, one thing the computer could do other than like an energy burst spamming uh, attack combo would be spray and pray into a laser blast then finally following up into an energy burst. Laser Blast is that magic move I was talking about earlier, and this is why we picked up the magic damage uh, to begin with. She's able to deal fire damage. It's an AoE. She's, uh, as you can see, she goes uh, across her, uh, in front of her, like from a horizontal angle, and it'll hit at least, like, however many people are in that range. She can hit up to, like, four or five people sitting like that. I said during the stream that if you blindside enemies um, that are like this and you hit them with this, it's... It's pretty much just a one shot for him. It starts at pretty good damage. I did put some points into it. Uh, I definitely think this should be the second ability you max. Uh, energy burst first. Spray and pray is nice with this because it's instantaneous. They get stunned by that first little hit. It kind of uh, takes them out of an animation. Then you can quickly follow up with this to wipe the group. And if they are still alive, they won't be once you hit them with energy burst. Especially if you're point blank at this point. And these two spells or abilities actually do a lot of damage because of point blank and um and if you happen to be behind them while doing that you're getting that point blank and that uh dead angle shooting so if you crescent lotus you can knock them up into the air first by holding square and then hit them with spray and pray before they hit the ground and then laser blast them while they're in the area so that's another thing you can do with that combo this is your main damage dumping combo for bosses though drop concentration and then just spam energy burst in a row and hopefully you're behind them and if you can be somewhat close to them if you're really crazy you'll really be able to get some crazy damage above the going because you'll have one going from above you'll be point blank and you'll be behind them that's like triple dipping already and this isn't even counting getting buffs from like uh your s3 cage for extra damage dealt or a buff from nina um so that's just some pretty wild damage that mario will be able to do um, then I put Bullet Stream one because Bullet Stream's a nice move that kind of picks off a lot of smaller people when you're just fall, uh, farming ads and you have pretty high damage. It only does 80 DPS, but when you're higher level than other people and you're kind of just running through areas, picking up some XP and some money, it's pretty good for taking out enemies, especially when they're already low health. That way you don't have to wind up some long-winded animation and commit to it like Energy Burst. Energy Burst is not something you want to just keep spamming when somebody has like super low HP because somebody's going to walk up to you and hit you and then you're going to lose some AP for that. Um, Shadowbind is mainly for if you want to decrease the movement speed of people around you. This is more of a if you think you need it. I don't think you need it necessarily because with, with the effects of Duma and then just being able to evade and since you're a long range character you'll be constantly looking at people trying to make their way to you. You won't have to worry about this too much i just thought i'd throw it in there because it's nice to be able to hinder people's movement speed especially when you're somebody who's trying to run from the fight and um fight whenever it uh, suits you uh positioning and fighting with perfect poise in terms of strengthening skills uh right now i've only leveled up energy burst um this move hits incredibly hard and as we go across the moves briefly you can see that the where it says power a lot of them are doing like next to no damage um, and it's for because these are like very fast animation so to keep it balanced. Um, energy Burst is a very long winded one but it does a lot of damage and hits a lot of people. Laser Blast is very, it's, it's fairly quick and it does uh, AOE damage in front of you and it's magical so that's nice. Um, Spray and Pray is something you could also level up after maxing out. Uh, energy Burst and Laser Blast. If you're not sure what these go to because you never maxed out an ability, they go to 10. Um, these two you absolutely want to take to 10. You need a long range move um, at 10 and you also need a short, a close range move at 10. Uh, spray and Pray could be something else you invest in as well, but after that I would say leave everything as it is. And then I would tell you to go to Concentration and really suit this up because I started leveling up one of these active skills and found out leveling it up does not level up the duration of it but instead like the potency of it so where it says 30% attack that's going to change to like 40% or something because uh, I was leveling up Berserk with um, Raymond and I have it up to like 
I believe 60 or 70 percent damage when it started out at like 50. So it's, it's crazy to think that you can push past like a 50 percent uh, damage buff on yourself while there's so many other people who can add damage to you. Um, these these buffs feel very very strong. Um, so definitely if you're controlling Mario, max concentration, get this to level 10. Um, honestly, after I finish uh, Energy Burst, I might just go to concentration and have her max this out uh, and then go back for uh, laser blast and then that's pretty much it as for the passive skills um, I would say these take a back seat to the active skills and the combat skills simply because now for combat skills I do recommend just energy burst and laser blast first then go to your active skill max concentration then come to passive skills and Clever Fighter, I would say, leave that one alone and look at Point Blank and Dead Angle Shooting. And this one, you're going to have to kind of gauge off of how you're actually playing her. If you find yourself constantly up in people's faces and it's working for you, go for Point Blank range. However, I'd recommend going for Dead Angle first because eventually enemies are going to ignore you and go for the people that are in their face fighting them. So you might as well walk behind them and get that extra damage off it. I mean, it's 50% extra damage too. This is not like a little bit that you're getting. That's, that's a lot. And it's not even leveled up yet. That's the crazy part. This is the level 1 version of it. So max this out and then go for point blank range as well. So that way whenever somebody does get in your face, they'll wish they hadn't. Or if you blindsided them, you'll be able to continue to one shot through the higher levels of the game deal some crazy staggering damage uh, to bosses, probably breaking their parts off. But that is a mid to late game build rundown with Mario Henny. I want to uh, again show you the paradigm for what it looks like. This is what you're going to be trying to grab, ignoring everything else that isn't highlighted. The other abilities that didn't grab was because of the damage they did. Didn't seem sufficient enough in comparison to the ones that I did display to you however if you do like those abilities go ahead and test it out for yourself give it a shot but this is what I've seen to do some pretty impressive uh, some pretty impressive damage for uh, where the main story was at the time and I suspect it'll keep doing impressive damage as the game goes on as the abilities are just stacked way higher than the other ones at the given time I also wanted to show you what I was talking about with the damage buff um, increasing, like the potency of it. Uh, let's see, it's the active skill. So Berserk was not always at 67%. This was a lot lower. So leveling up these active skills that are giving you buffs are definitely worth it. I highly recommend doing concentration for Mario. But that is the video for her. I'm looking forward to pumping out JJ still. We still have Theo's to do as well. And we will be getting to Leticia. That, uh, somebody directly asked me for that in the stream. I'm taking some time with Leticia's because I feel like she has one of the more complicated kits for the computer to handle. And when I do these build videos, the information I'm giving you is sort of like the best of both to you controlling her. Or happen to, say you happen, say the character you're controlling dies and you have to switch to her. You have a combo list set up to where it's like good enough for you to use, but also good enough for a computer to call upon as well. Because uh, the computer doesn't always control these characters uh, as, as good as we'd like them to. So I try to set up builds so they can help you if you're not controlling them as well. But I am going to be trying to pump out the Leticia video soon. It's possible that the Yo and JJ's will come first, so just be patient with me. But if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment what you thought down below, and subscribe if, you, subscribe if you're new. Um, and I uh, will catch you guys in the next Star Ocean, the Divine Force video.